and I think that the Noodle Boys mind game that was a gorgeous sick mind game. Holy! Oh my God! Look at and you! And then the smolder. Oh! Oh wait! 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 Well, wait! With Zaya here, I feel like it's actually kind of viable, but I, I think the Ezreal is just the better pick overall. Yeah, I think Ezreal's fine. Of course, you do outrange the Zaya pretty comfortably. You're so safe in the Cannon Vi. I think the Ezreal is just better. I think the Smolder is just way too immobile. Yes, you could still lock down the Ezreal with the ultimate from the Vi, but it puts the Vi in an awkward spot. And Smolder can kind of fly or, or flap or whatever, but yep, not quite the same thing. Maybe smiting that one away as Mihail walks up. And tries to get some experience. I think gets a tiny little bit. Oh no, yeah. not even on the turret. Meaning that uh, there can at least be one of those plates taken by Jiwu, as we can see. Ona moving over though, so four to two. As Mihail trying to get towards the turret. And might actually ding level two. As no, not quite, but still he's going to survive. There's that level two that we were talking about. The four men still here from T1 as they do manage to get the engage. That is first blood going over to Gumayushi. And Ona tanks that one up beautifully juggled here as now Faker in perhaps a little bit of trouble but doesn't even have to flash to get him out of the way of that one. And the teleport comes in from Mihail and he says, witness me as he looks for more of these minions. Zayas was tanking up this turret and once again, he's just gonna get toyed with. And that is another kill going over to T1. All right, Sylvie's coming down here to see if maybe he can get some cleanup done on the Lilia. Bowling ball going to go wide. Yeah, has his eyes on the stake there, but Kerry just going to flash out of the way. The watch out, he... Oh my god, how many kills can he actually pick up here? As Kerry is dead as well. That is two for one, and you'll probably take that as Grand Entrance going to be necessary here from Vital, but he used it, I believe, to uh, close the gap. Doesn't land the Gleaming Quill, and Gumiushi just... Stand strong, walks out, no flash. Oh, oh there's the flash in! Jiwoo! Jiwoo's here! And the flash was just used. Great sidestep from Kumiyushi, but Jiwoo, he's going to have that arcane ship relatively soon, but Carrier. Very risky, as here it comes, Sylvie. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, good flash over the Vault Breaker there as well. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Oh. Yeah, I think oh. he thought it was a quadra kill. Yeah, and he was super close. And then Jiu was like, I got you. <laughs> Get Zayas. But Guma with the sidestep. I mean, that's a quick hand, quick reaction there from Guma. Well done. There's another double knockup, and the Blade Caller is gorgeous. Vital looking to try and get himself out of this one as the Ignite was ticking, but not enough to take him down. It's now Jiwu trying to deal with this one as great moves with the Arcane Shift to get out of the way. But I think he's still in trouble. Kumiyushi, he takes another turret shot, and it's Jiwu that grabs the kill. Jiwu is still alive, and he gets the shield from the Barrier. Oh my god! I mean, T1, you're diving in Ezreal with Barrier. If this goes badly, you've got to fit Israel on your hands and you've tossed all the advantages you got. I mean, not completely all of them, but a lot of them just into the bin as Karia looking for the execute will get it here. As Idol. Like match made in heaven. I don't know. Uh, as Ona doesn't either, as he's taking so much damage here. Yeah, he is uh, just walking the wrong direction. Karia and Faker, nothing they can do about this. And can they keep themselves alive? Down towards That's the bottom side of the map. As Ona going to spot out the fact that Sylvie's in the area. Lilting Lullaby does come down and Ona takes a nap. It's suboptimal timing for said nap, but Ona's still going to survive. Oh, target selection fantastic there from Fisher though. Looked like maybe he was going to go for the play on the Faker is over here. Yeah, we've got an all out from Mihail who's just looking for Zayas. The exhaust goes down. He'll find some more Qs. And the flash out from Zayas is going to avoid it. Vital now looking for the angle he gets over Zayas. He knows that he has to go all in onto this one. Some Alco gaming, a Q going to connect. And Mihail, he will fall down, but the immediate answer is there. The Zayas 1v2 gets a kill, and now they're looking for more onto this Cassante, who's got nothing in the inventory. Yeah, it's feeling a little bit mean as Mihail is there. going to have his. Sylvie made a big impact in this game in the bottom lane, obviously, but the 3-6 wasn't able to really patch any of the holes otherwise. Is This is just really, I mean, Zayas plays this so well. Aftershock's down, Zayas just continues to chase here. And as you can see, the, the vital rotation is so late, he can't actually impact this play. The ignite, or rather the exhaust timing is great, but watch this flash from Zayas. It's like pixel perfect. Yeah, that flash. That and he has all these beautiful. minions, and Vital comes over, and then watch the heal. 
I want to see the auto here because it looks like Vital holds an auto right here because he wants Mihal to get the kill. Oh, but W. Yeah. Ah! Oh! oh, man. <sighs> Oh, you can see that he's not actually too frustrated. Yeah, Fisher up towards the top side now. He's been a bit quiet this game, as this is not. As Carrier going to get re-engaged on. Jiwoo over to the side, looking for some Mystic Shot angles, but Vital's the one that's in trouble. Okay, True Shot Barrage connects on to Carrier, but he has an unbreakable will. They both turn immediately. These health bars are so low. It's a two for one, though, and Jiwoo is just massive. Yeah, Jiwoo's he's best friend in this game, I guess, in a lot of ways. Oh, Sylvie sort of dancing around this passive stacked up, so he's so incredibly fast. Watch out, Ethan Smite going to be able to lock down this dragon. And it's Zayas wanting to try and protect it, but there is another minion wave conga lining in. And so I think Zayas might have to vacate. Okay, Sylvie just going to flash forward. The teleport is coming on through, though. But the Q comes back. Fisher locks him down. And uh, just an overstay here for Zayas. Not even able to flash his way out. As Okay, I think uh, Vital might be dead. Never mind, he just quicknesses his way out. He's totally chilling. It's uh, like, I don't know. Vital, what did he have for breakfast today? I don't know. From the 2 0 by making these proactive plays as Rakan over here. Yeah, you guys, you guys come to me? Save me, save me. I'm alive. I'm out. I live. I'm, I'm out of here. Zayas, he has flash, by the way. Um, Fisher, uh, in fact, vital as well, just going to miss everything. Uh, and so, uh, even though Zayas doesn't have his ultimate, it doesn't actually matter. As Mihail going to lose his turret, see whether he loses more than that as Faker comes down. A lot of consistent damage here, shredding down the Cassante. And vital now looking for an angle. I still like, you can see the T1 are about 2,000 gold ahead, maybe a little bit shy of that. But I still feel, with the fact that Jiwoo is so massive, and you can see there, yet. Oh, Muramana just transformed as now Mihail. He's not a target that you're really allowed to engage on. Still pretty tanky here, even though he's being put behind. They can't see, if they can't see Zayas, they cannot fight safely. They know where he is now, but it's still such a huge threat. Flash ult back online. Yep, Gumiushi, pretty safe positioning right now. Hip up pulverize on to Vital, but now he gets out of there. Great knock up. Sleep comes in. They execute the cannon. The knock up from Vital is just gorgeous. And Mihail's massive in the fight. Sylvie goes golden to keep himself alive. And Carrier, he is just a cow. What is he supposed to do? Jiwoo's going to flash on top of Gumiyushi. And Nongshim, I know they ate noodles for breakfast, right? It's Nongshim, but damn, I wasn't expecting this game. They set up the perfect engage. Look at this. Zayas, right now, trying to set up for the angle. He has flash. He has ult. Guma's not here. Everything goes in. Too vital. And then the sleep comes out. Fisher instantly ults on top of the Zayas ultimate. That doesn't ever come out. He's just chained CC, just like in game one. Sylvie, the really nice arm guard here as well. He's able to kite his way out. Great team fight here by the side of Nongshim and Guma, he just can't reach, can't do anything, he's just got to get out of there. Yeah, I think we're going to win this, I think we're going to win this, he says. And they did! Yeah, Chelly and the gang looking pretty happy about how 10% buff by killing everyone at the beginning of the game. Yeah, maybe more uh, than 10. That wasn't too bad. Fisher might be caught out of position here. Let's see whether he can ult away. He is going to be able to do so. That's a big cooldown. Now missing and no teleport to get him back into the fight as well as Ona. He's going to try and push him ever further. Still, he's got a lot of life still, so you do have to be a little bit careful. And Ona no Vial. Here. Yeah. No Vial for Owner, so locking down this Ezreal seems like a pipe dream at this point. Carrier is sitting at one third health. The thing is, the cannon is now a whole lot more dangerous with the fact that they don't have that fate sealed in order to lock things down. Carrier almost just dies to the True Shot Barrage, so they're not going to be able to go for any sort of engage. He is. And Ona lying in wait here is going to find Vital. I think Vital pretty happy about that one. Finds the quickness, and they're just going to turn it on to Ona. And he is going to ult, but they get over the wall, and now the re engage comes in. Jiwoo's going to be taken out, and Fisher as well finds himself on the wrong side of the fight. Can they still get this? Because Mihail, he goes all out. Carrier finds the pulverizers. Fisher locks down Ona. They don't have their Fed Ezreal, and they're still fighting this one as Sylvie misses the bowling ball, and finally, Gumiyushi's able to get it done. Carrier ticking down, but he will survive. Teleport. So does Faker, but Sylvie's in the mid lane. Fake out. It's real. Mid lane and AD carry that are just going to kill a Baron. And, I, and T1 just aren't realizing. They're like, yeah. well, these players are missing, but I wonder where they are. They're going to get the notification right now. There goes the Baron. As he's hit by a rocket from Faker, they're trying to soften them up as Mountain Soul now on the table for Nongshim. You can use their Baron, get things pushed up. 
Zayas one started. Yeah, Zayas good. Flank angle, no flash though available. Let's see whether he can get into a good position. His carrier half health now. Just off one combo. Fisher gets over the wall with the unbound soul. He's just looking to try and deal with this. And there is the mountain soul now available for Nongshim. Right now, if Guma dies, then they just push further as owner. Speaking of dying. Yeah, exactly. He's 0-5 already. This might be 0-6, but no. He presses the ulti button. He's going in. And he just goes out immediately afterwards. That's that 0-6 that we were talking about. And Nongshim. Don't have to worry about a jungler. Still a minute until the Baron, so he will be up again for that. But the base may be in tatters, as it's now four versus five. Baker is going to get nailed by so many skill shots. Look at Jiwoo. Ji He's like, oh, there's no Vi. I can step forward. I'm brave now. I'm not afraid. Oh, Fisher is also going to do the same thing, but of course, it doesn't need to be that brave. It's still the almost just one shot by Kumiyushi. He might need to press his Zonya's button. Vital's going to be there to try and protect him. His carrier looks for the option. The headbutt back onto Jiwoo. He breaks his arm guard, but the old to punish Jiwoo and Fisher just says no not today my friend that is going to be the exhaust down but it's not enough to stop Jiwoo from falling down Sylvie's now dead as well but Nongshim are cleaning up the fight because Fisher is still just so big Faker on full health not going to be able to do anything just to wait for that angle he gets it unbinds the soul and then just throws the ulti on top of Guma and there was just not enough left in the tank. Is now Vital going to get engaged on once again? Cease and desist comes down. Has he created enough space? The answer is no. As the Rakan goes down, Fisher just going to reattach once again. So it's a, a few health bars now a little bit lower, but not yeah. without their support. And that was working really well for Vital, little tricky plays. But now they have, oh, Carrier. Yeah, that's the flash headbutt from Carrier. The ulti comes through from Fisher, though, and Carrier will be going down. So support for support. But Ona's also going to fall. A double kill for Jiwa to stop this one. And Zayas' ulti doesn't find the angle he was looking for this time. And this Mountain Soul, this Kassante is so big. It's a triple for Jiwoo, and he's just layering all the CC. Arcane ship forward, Quadra kill, and the Noodles are winning 2-0 over T1. Unbelievable result. Two insane upsets today. First Gen G fall, and then T1. It was the win that KT took that knocked Nongshim out of playoffs, but I don't think it affected them in this one. Or maybe Maybe it was the lack of pressure, but they get a huge upset, arguably a bigger <laughs> upset than the first, and Jiwoo gets embraced, and damn, does he deserve it. Oh, 100%. Vital as well, man. Like, you can imagine, like, getting thrown into this roster. They required that mature voice from Guga to be able to get this team on the same page. And then Vital says, oh, is that all? Uh, I'm, I'm having me that were voting for it. Because um, I'm still not fully decided on who I liked in this series because I felt like Vital uh, had just a really good game. Was able to control a lot of these team fights. And Sylvie as well had a really good series just in general. Was a little bit of a quiet achiever. We're going to have a listen in. And... It was, it was it was dominated by Fisher. You are 100 percent right. I think it should be 12 out of 12. I, I just I look at the, this fight as well, just the constant shot calling for Vital. Like this was a piece that was missing, even though Guger had the experience. I feel like his shot calling was not this crisp, was not this clean, and I think there's a lot of hype here for Nomshim, but calling to kill Guma in that fight, kill the Zaya first as soon as you can, as fast as you can, and they did just that. Yeah, and this must have been what they were what they were building Vital into, right? That's what he's been in Challenger.